Welcome back everybody. Hope you're having a great day. I still have, there's like one spot of snow there. I got stuff on top of the trees here, but there's like one there, one there. I got to get rid of this snow. Sheep. How'd that sheep get over there? They're supposed to be in that pen. What's that over there? There, so I need to get rid of that. But look, I need to put a moss on top of those trees. Ah, they never have any fight to get rid of snow. You know, snow biome. Well, it's my own damn fault for picking a snow biome, but. So we are uh, working on our mansion still. And today we're going to start on the second floor. Because we have our first floor taken care of with our entryway or, or uh, parlor the little library dining room yes oh yes we got our dining room kitchen it's all taken care of uh oh yeah never mind that don't look there look let's look over here because that's so it's a bit of a fixer-upper and then our bathroom did not move this window even though it looks better from the outside if I moved it, but I'm going for what it looks like on the inside and I'll just hide it or something on the outside or just ignore it. I think I'll just ignore it. So we are, this is our second floor. So we're up here on the second floor. This is where the bedrooms are going to be. So I figured you come up the stairs and I thought about putting the master way back there. But then I've got the fireplace here. So the fireplace would be nice. A nice addition to the master. So I could put the master here. So we'll just like kick a wall out. Another reason I think the master would be good here. Because this could be, I could put the master bath over in that corner. A little sitting area over here, the sleeping area over in this area, and then if we go out this way, this would make a great balcony for the master. Because if I put the master over there, I'm going to have to poke a balcony out from the side, which looks unnatural, but this actually works really naturally to make a nice balcony. So we're going to, so I think I'm going to do that, even though. I don't think normally or typically would have the master right as the first thing you get to. It'd be like farther down, deeper into the house. But I can put uh, the other bedrooms and stuff back here. That would be not a problem. Because this master needs to have its own bath and sleeping area. And this would be a great little sitting area with a fireplace. So, so it just sort of naturally fits there. So let's see, so I've got, so we're gonna have a wall. I wanna come up here, but I want the wall to go like here. So we've got a wall there. Oh, oh, let's get rid of this. Actually, it's gonna go, yeah, like that. I want to put this little ledge across here. I'll put like a iron railing or something here. And then across the top, we're going to have a, a beam. Oh yeah, that works out pretty well. So that beam goes all the way over to this corner here. Let's just do that. And then for the wall, I'm actually using wall for the wall. I think it will go with the style. Because it kind of emulates this uh, bottom half, like a wainscoting back here. Now I'll need to figure out a ceiling. I'm going to have high ceilings in here with a tiny little attic up there. 
So I'm going to have some kind of slab. Um, maybe birch. Because birch is really light. So that would lighten it up quite a bit and carry it up. And then like this here. So I want to have a... So we'll have a railing going through there. And then like this will be the hallway down through here. And it should go from there. There we go. And then we would have... Maybe the door could go right there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to put the door over there. So the door would have to go here. I think it's fine to put it in the corner. Normally I try and avoid corner doors. Yo, know, and this strip is not... <laughs> not looking the way I want it to. I forgot it's directional. There we go. That's better. Up, up, up. Like that. And I th even I think I will do like that. Yeah, so this makes a good... So the door would be fine there. And I really want to carry... So I've got that going over there. That's fine. And I can actually just merge this all the way up. Like that. And I could do something with this even because it's not, it doesn't go all the way over to the corner there. So, yeah, I could think of something. I could put like a table or something right in the corner there. Which really means, oh yeah, so yeah, so it's going to go all the way that way. Okay, I'm out. I'm just using those uh, using those strip logs, even though they're more expensive, because I had a whole pile of them. So I'll just grow more if I need them. So that'd be fine. So this goes here like that. I think the hallway will have to run down this way. Although it's not centered. Yeah, so this will be fine. So centered here with smaller rooms over there, bigger rooms over on this side. We could have even the bathroom like right there where there's no window. I don't like that window there. Can I move that window? I think I can. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing special on the outside for windows. So maybe if I pop this window out here. Yeah, so a nice bright window at the end of the hallway here. That'd be fine. Looks a little weird. Oh yeah, I need to put in... I need to put in the glass. Maybe if I put in the glass, it'll look better. We'll see. I'm thinking of going with the, the windows that I have down below. But yeah, and I think this, if I do this. Now I'm getting into the non-bedroom part, which I really shouldn't do. So let's, let's get away from this, and we'll go back over into the bedroom. So we have this here. This is fine. Got the window, which I like, because I like the window at the top of the stairs there. When we come around here. This is the bedroom part itself. So maybe, yeah, so if I tuck the bedroom over in this corner over here, and then this would be out onto the balcony, which is really going to be... Get rid of this and this. I would imagine we're going to have window and stuff out here. And then, where is... There, just keep the style. 
But that does mean I need to raise this up because I want it flat, like level here. So I'll get rid of this. I can still do, well, no, I need to, yeah, I'm going to need to raise this all the way up. So where's my planks? Because I need to put a rail across here. Rail across there, and then what was that? The oh, it must be uh, this the stair the fence there is pushing me up. And this. I'm gonna do this and this. There we go. I can leave a gap. Oops. I can leave that little gap there off the porch here. Because that looks more porchy. Let's do this. Let's go back up. Let's come here. We have our balcony. Then we're gonna need, you know, like railing. There. So you have a nice little balcony off the master, which I think looks really nice. And let's, yeah, I think I will do that. Put the door, have a door there. That'll, that'll lean into uh, the look I'm going for. So then we can have the bed over here, maybe a nice three wide bed right there and we'll just carry this down because we just want this little, like this little screen going on here so when you come in it's a little narrower you would go this way if you want to get into the bedroom but you're kind of shuffled or funneled over here into this, this little sitting area Then you can sit by the cozy fireplace. And then over here would have the bathroom. I normally try and tie the bathroom onto the bedroom. But in this case, I don't want that big of a sitting room. So I'm going to just use that area over there. And I don't want to put the bed over here. It just is kind of awkward unless I put it, you know, make this all the bedroom and make that the bathroom. But then you don't have access to... The balcony so I'm trying to get access to the balcony and it's probably not the best design but it's what I'm working with because when I set it up I didn't plan I didn't plan ahead on where all the rooms and stuff so normally you would go through here and go you know lay out everything before I had all this taken care of and I probably would have moved the stairs or at least had the stairs come up another way so then you didn't have this jet out here so but uh, for us, we're, we're, we're just going to work with what we got. Did a bit of rearranging after having a think about it. And I've moved the door over here. Oh, that's, let's get rid of this. We need, um, So I moved the, got rid of the door, so it's all hallway. And the main, uh, main entrance into the master bedroom is here. Not ideal as far as the stairs are concerned, but I think it's fine. And so you'll come in here, we'll have a little seating area, probably a desk, some bookshelves. We'll have our bed right there. Still got a nice window we can look out of. You got the windows over there and then you come through this hallway here and this leads out onto the balcony still have a window here although this is since this is a bathroom now on the other side of that we've got a transom window and this actually works kind of better for a balcony because you got the door here because there's really no space over there and then you got all your seating so i can have a little table and stuff right there and then we'd have our bathroom here so we'd have our uh, Probably like a shower 
in our toilet, in our sink, will fit fine into this area. I do need to put in the ceiling still. I've not got the ceiling tiles installed. And even after I do the ceiling, I can probably get rid of all of these. Yeah, I figure this is all going to go because I don't need it. But we'll figure that out because the roof's all going to be flat through here. Um, I need to figure out something here. I don't like the way that this is. Do I have... Boy, my inventory is... How my inventory gets so full? I'm going to have to figure, you know, clean this up because I... So this here, I wonder if I can just do maybe something, do I have any more packed? Oh, I can combine those. Maybe something like that. I sort of have gaps. Sometimes the gaps, gaps are irritating. Well, then, yeah, I've got that gap with the, with this. Well, I should be able to do that. And then we can get rid of this all together. Let's, um, here, we'll do it. I'm out of space. Yeah, because the, the roof should be, or the ceiling should be right at this level here. So I bet I could just carry this here so they'll have a nice, almost like, like I did down below with crown molding right there. Because the birch roof would go right there. Oh no, that's not going to work. Okay. Yeah, I may need to lower the ceiling down in here. For now, let's, uh, I guess we can start decorating the room. I do have bathroom stuff, so maybe I'll start with part of the bathroom here. Because if I have the shower over in this corner, like that, I do need some more shower stuff. But this would be the shower. The sink would go up against this wall over here. There, kind of stick with the granite theme. That's close to the door, though, isn't it? Maybe the sink would go there, which means the toilet would have to go here, which I don't like that. I think if I put the toilet there, like that. Oops. Let's do this. That way it's not the same color as the hallway. Make you feel like you're in the hallway. There, so you got a little privacy screen here. Shower. And then I could put the sink like over here. It's a bit tighter than I'm used to. If I want to widen it up, I could take out this hallway. I mean, take this whole area over here and put a huge bathroom in there. But then I'd have to close up this window. Yeah, so that goes out there. Yeah, so this is outside wall. Now let's leave it the way it is. We're going to leave it the way it is. Well, I didn't think it was going to take this long to get this all planned out, but that's what you get for not planning ahead. I think we've got a layout, so now I just need to uh, furnish everything.
But I don't want to run this episode too long. I could go on for hours with this kind of stuff. So I'm going to stop for now. And uh, in the next episode, we will go on and finish up this bedroom and hopefully, hopefully move on to the rest of the upper story. Now, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye bye now.